Hello, good evening, and welcome to News 360. It is live from our news hub here at Adisa Week and in Accra. I am Aisha Yakubu. And I'm Roland Walker. Now, Hope, not her real name, was defiled at the age of 15. Now, the press and unable to make ends meet, the incident made her life worse off. Now, four months after TV3 first aired her story, Hope is now a happy woman. She, together with some 15 other persons, have benefited from the Sustainable Livelihood for Differently a Bled project initiated by Plan International Ghana Alumni Network. We'll bring you a story by Wendy Lai. On August 15, 2020, TV3 aired the story of Hope, not her real name, a deaf mother of four, living in Adamrobe, a deaf and hearing community in the eastern region. Her life was shattered when she was defiled at age 15. I felt that because I'm a deaf, the boy took advantage of me and my parents couldn't do much. So that has been the situation. My parents went to him and he refused responsibility. He said he has never touched me before. Speaking through a male interpreter, she said men often deceived her with money and food to have sex with her. They eventually abandoned her upon pregnancy, denying responsibility. Because of poverty and my disability, has led me into this. A lot of deaf people here do not have work, like myself. And I think that the deaf should be helped to work and feed themselves. After TV3 aired her story, Hope, together with 15 others from Adamrobe, have benefited from the sustainable livelihood for differently abled projects initiated by the Plan International Ghana Alumni Network. With support from the country director of Plan International Ghana, the Alumni Network was able to secure a funding of 5,000 US dollars from the Swiss Embassy in Ghana to implement the project. The 16 beneficiaries, both speech and hearing impaired, underwent a two-week intensive vocational skills training in sewing, soap making and baking pastries at the Demonstration School for the Deaf in Mampong, Ikrapim, in the Eastern Region. So over the period, we've tried to have the vocational setup working such that we'll be able to reach out to people who would be able to sponsor them, people who can uh, come kind of come on board to help in terms of uh, provision of facilities for the vocational setup. Many of them come from this Adamobe area and having gotten in touch with some of them after school, they are just there, they are not doing anything. And so we wanted to liaise with plan to be able to do something for them. And that is how come they've come on board. Hope, trained in dressmaking. Previously we've been roaming, doing nothing, and I am happy to be here learning a lot of things. I am happy. Look at what I have been able to do. I'm going home to do a lot for myself. My first thanks go to TV3 for videoing me and then also getting support for me. I thank Plan Ghana for all that they have provided for me. And I know whatever they have given me will not go to waste. Adre Driwa also benefited from the project. Now I've learned how to make soap. I'm going home with full of hope that I'm going to work and get money to support myself. I thank TV3 and I thank Plan Ghana and the Swiss Embassy for teaming up to give life to the people of Adam Robert. The beneficiaries, 13 females and 3 males, were presented with startup kits for sewing, pastries and soap making. They each received 50 US dollars as startup fund. 
We believe that these skills that we are equipping them with will be something that they'll go back to their communities to use to help them earn some income and to empower them financially. Yeah, so we would want to um, thank TV3 first of all for uh, doing the story and throwing the light on the situation of these young women which led to this um, project that we are implementing and also to the Swiss Embassy as well for the funding. The aim of the project was to equip the beneficiaries with vocational skills to be economically independent upon successful completion. All 16 beneficiaries also had a session on sexual and reproductive health and rights, as well as financial management. Sometimes when I reflect where we have come from, it made me emotional. Sometimes I feel like sharing tears. Why? Visiting the village for a very long time, and you see these girls have nothing to do than giving birth. Today, through TV3, we have gotten Plan Ghana to start something. I am so happy for these deaf people. I pray that they will go, they will work hard, they will get money, they will support their children, they will support their family, so that the hearing community will know that deaf giving the needed support will just be like them. Wendy Lai, TV3 News.